Hello, this is Alexey. In this video review we will talk about 4IE. 4IE is a Joomla extension that uses new technologies to help you create and transform your website content quickly and easy. It provides an outline for new articles and allows you to write a product description by providing only basic information. You can get the text of a new article in seconds, complete with the title and meta description, and save it as a new Joomla article in a category your choice. The extension allows you to translate an existing article to another language and save it as a new article automatically associated with the original one. You can get Facebook posts or suggested tweets for your blog post or products, tweet directly from 4IE, extract keywords, get related keywords or hashtags for your SEO research and linking efforts, or chat directly with the IE and copy-paste question, response, or the enter discussion with just a click. You can find more details list of the components features in the article on my blog. Let's see how it works. For example, this is my site, this is Joomla site with demo data, here is my Joomla, Let's go to Content, Articles, here we can see 4IE badge, also we can see it, for example, in Modules, also we can see it, for example, in Template Styles and in other sections. But let's go to Articles and find my article about your homepage. This is it. Here it is. Here we can see 4IE. Just click and we have several tabs. For example, we can check spell. There are a lot of languages. Here we can see some options. We can hide them. Here we can see token information. What is token you can read here. Also, we can hide these options, we can shorter this text, we can expand it, we can generate summarize, we can change style for one of these, we can rewrite it for keywords and translate. Let's check, for example, expand. Here we can see our text. Just click Submit Request and wait for a few seconds. After a few seconds we can see the result, we can modify it, we can show difference, what was added, what was changed and so on. Also we can save a new article or for example replace this one. I choose Replace. Here we can see our article, let's change some layout, for example, add read more here, just save, and we can see new text. Let's see another options, for example, we can change style, we can change, for example, for formal style, just submit request and wait. After the work was done. We also have the same tools. We can show the difference and can apply these changes to existing articles, save new and so on. I will just click replace editor content, just close, click save update our page and we can see some changes. Let's see another tools. For example, we can rewrite our text for a specific keyword. For example, let's enter Joomla 4. Submit request and wait. Here we can see one keyword was added, but if we click show difference we can see one and two keywords were added. So, you can just replace this content, save it, and you can see the changes. Let's see another tools. 
also we can translate it to another language. I won't do that, we just leave English. And let's see, not great, but SEO tab. For example, we can see our page title, we can see our meta description and keywords. Keywords are not imported for Google, but let's see what we can do with this. For example, we can submit the request to write a title for this text. Just submit and wait. Here are some examples. You can choose what you want. I'll just choose the first one. Here we can see the old title and now replace and we can see new title. Let's save it. And we can see new title. Let's see another tool. For example, meta description. Also just click submit and wait. Also, we can see several suggestions here. Just click replace description and let's see what we've got. We've, we've got new description, just save it and it will appear in our code. Here it is. Here we can find several keywords in our text. After a few seconds we can see main keywords from my text, related keywords not present in my text and hashtags that can be used with my text. This is very useful information. For example, with these keywords you can write new content and this you can use in your social posts. Let's see other top, for example, social and ads. We can create Facebook posts, tweets, you can use option end with the question or not. For example, yes, let's cho choose yes, let's choose Facebook post and let's generate it. Here we can see our suggestion about Facebook post, we can copy it or modify our request and use it in our social medias. Also, we have GPT chart here. We can ask GPT chart for, for about what is Joomla and we can chat with it. As you can see, we will get an answer in a few seconds and can continue to discuss this topic. Now, let's see how we can create new article by using 4IE. Let's just click create. For example, we can create a paragraph, this is short text, an email, an outline and a blog post. I will use a blog post, we can change the language, we can change purpose of the text, we can change style, for example, informal, formal and so on. I will choose formal, I will enter topic and click submit request. After some time I've got this text. I can save it as a new article or a replace, I'll just click replace and open it in, in cell. For example, I can write meta description just for one click. I will choose one of these descriptions, for example, this. Just close it. I will choose category. I will add read more. Just click save. Also, I can add image in li for a link, for example, something like this. We can see meta description here, just click save and go to our blog. Here we can see what is Joomla, we can see our text with meta description in the code. Here it is. 
And now let's look at our component. We have a dashboard here, we can see use tokens, but when you first install this component, you need to go configuration, RP providers. For now, there is only one open IE. You need to enter secret key. Just go to dashboard. You need to register. After this, you need to log in and go to view RP keys. If you got here for a first time, you just need to click create new secret key and create it and after that just post it here and that's all. You can use for IE as we see before, but here you can see use tokens, your requests, you can change general configuration of for IE component. For example, you can disable front end for IE assistant. Let's see if you log in as administrator. Edit your content and you can see for IE in the front end. This is the same tools. So you can use it as in admin panel. Also, you can enable or disable keyboard shortcuts or you can change some system settings. For example, you can change update key, change color tem, change accent color, for example, purple, blue, orange, or, and so on. Also, you can change other settings, but this is not so important, because the main actions you will perform here, in this window. As you can see, FOIE is a very useful Joomla tool for a lot of text-related tasks. This component will be useful for different types of sites, blogs, online store, news sites, com company sites, and so on. In the following video tutorials, we will take a look, close look at a various built-in Joomla extensions. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, this is Alexey, see you soon in new tutorials.